Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunder's Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another cool and fun tutorial. This one is on the Japanese i400. This has been on the list for a long, long time, and uh, we needed another submarine, so I took some time and I and I built one. <laughs> so hopefully, this should be a really, really quick and fun tutorial. You can add to your docks or out in the middle of the ocean in your war battles. Uh, another World War II uh, submarine here for you. We already did the bowfin here in the back, and I've got this here just for reference and size. I400 was the biggest sub in uh, World War II, and uh, stayed the biggest sub until the 1960s when the uh, uh, ballistic subs came into play. Uh, I've got an Ohio class here in the back, again, just for size reference. So this is what we're gonna be building. Uh, same materials we use for just about everything else. We got red, we've got dark gray. Uh, I've got some upside down stairs that go inside here. Uh, I've got some moss stone in my texture pack you can download in the description M4K. Uh, I will try to think of some other materials that you can use during the build and I will spot them out for you. Uh, I've got some banners here on the side for the, uh, the Japanese flag and uh, the I-400 symbol here on the side. Again, that will be linked in the description to the video where you can figure out how to do that. A little challenge thing for you guys at the end because I can't remember <laughs> exactly how I did that. Uh, but I will uh, link the video that way it will help you out. Uh, I've done a, little, a few modifications before this tutorial and after the promo video uh, thanks to lone wolf 2267 uh, notice I had a few things wrong with the uh, the deck guns I had single mounts all the way through and I did half ass at the end of <laughs> at the end of this build I was getting tired and uh, and I just pretty much plopped all three three guns or actually four guns across the deck and made them all the same but they are not uh, he pointed out that these are triple mount type 96 uh, auto cannons so I went ahead and switched the design out a little bit I took the seat off the back because obviously I wouldn't have one there uh, put two seats on the side and made two more cannons on each side so we got uh, the triple mount here uh, here and here now this one up here is the same thing as this it's just a single it's just a single barrel type 96 and then the back one here is a 14 cm by 40 deck gun uh, so I changed that out a little bit. So hopefully now, along with <laughs> the guns look a little bit better. I think they look better. All right, enough jabbing. Let's get over here and take a look at some stuff. All right, so the dimensions of the sub are 122 meters long from extreme end to extreme end. It is 17 meters wide, and it is 29 meters tall from the very bottom all the way up to the very top right there. Again, over here, this is what we're going to be building. And uh, we've got a plane here at the end. Hopefully, I will remember to do this. Uh, it had three M6A1 Siren seaplanes. Uh, it's kind of half-assed, kind of cheesy. <laughs> you guys can redesign it. Again, I got to the end of this build, and uh, I think I was getting tired. And, um, yeah, that's that's what I come up with. And there's there's three of them. There's one there, and there will be two inside the hangar bay. Uh, again, when you detail this out, when you're finished, uh, you, you can squeeze them in there if you want to. There is no interior, and there will not be. All right, I went ahead and switched over my texture pack. It's the same thing as M4K. The only difference is the wool pieces are from Glimmer's Steampunk texture pack from a long, long time ago, and it just makes it easier for you guys to count. Uh, so this is what we're going to be building first in the water. Seven layers under the water. So all the red layers here are going to be underwater. There's seven of them. Uh, so go ahead, and we're going to build this piece first. And I'll start with one block down here. Go up and go one, two, three, four, five, and then go one, two, three and one two three put a red block on top of that and then go one two put a red block on top of that and go one more forward and then one red and then a, a white and then two gray light gray and then a white two light gray and a white here's a white with a uh, light gray two light grays and a white one light gray and a white and then another white one here and then one two three four five six light grays going back this middle piece right here is the the moss stone that i've used for the decking Again, uh, you can use uh, something else if, if you want to use stone slabs on the top, just get a, a lighter look. But anyways, that's what that, that is. Don't worry about exactly how many of these are. We will finish that when we get to the top deck. The most important thing is, is to get this design right here. And uh, yes, use the white blocks for right now because this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And we're going to line all the pieces up to it. And then when it's finished, you can switch everything over. It's got eight torpedo tubes, and I've only got like six, and one of them is above the water line. It's not quite 100% accurate. There's supposed to be, like I said, eight, four on each side, I believe. 
Uh, again, you can make some adjustments to it. Uh, the bulk of the build is here, and I think it looks pretty damn good. All right, this is what we're going to be doing with layer one. It's 71 by 9, and uh, these are the measurements that we're going to be looking at. Again, we're going to build this together, but this is just for a reference. Uh, when you see any colored blocks up in the right-hand corner of each schematic, uh, you're going to see like two, three, four, and five. That's the colors that it coordinates with. You can see up there there's a five, there's a three. Just makes it easier for you to count uh, anything over five. I've obviously labeled it and made it easier. And then, we'll, of course, we'll line up with the white block and build uh, back from the design that we made over here. Uh, going four, four, seven, forty-nine, five, three, five wide. That is layer number one. And the 48 in the middle. I think I said that. I can't remember. <laughs> Anyways. All right, guys, that is enough yakking. Let's go ahead and find a happy little spot right over there. And uh, let's sit back, relax, grab a handful of nuts, kick yourself in the face, and let's get the shit started. All right, guys, layer number one. We're going to go right next to this white block right here. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go out one, two, three, four. And we're going out seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to go back 48. So there is one. And we're going to go 48 going that way. So again, from right here to right back here should be 48 blocks. All right, and then we're going to go in by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 3, 1, 2, 3, and there'll be 5 across the back. Just like that, do the same thing coming down the other side. All right, guys, layer number 2, right next to these 5 blocks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to cover up 3, 1, 2, and 3. And then we're going to do 2 sets of 5, 1, two three four five and then one two three four five and then we're going to do nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then out and back thirteen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and then we're going to go one more and double this up and we're going to go back that way 22 blocks all right from right here to right here should be 22 blocks double that up down the back side of that going to add seven more blocks one two three four five six seven and then six one two three four five six and then three one two three and then two one two and then five across the back two three four five and that should connect in right here and then your other three should come right there and the same thing coming down the other side all right once you have the other side done i'm going to use pink blocks just for a holding block right down the center line right here and we're going to go back 23 one Two and twenty-three. Switch back over to your red and put five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. Get rid of your pink blocks or whatever you used for a holding block, and that layer is done. All right, layer number three. We're gonna go right behind these three white blocks, and we're gonna go four, one, two, three, four. Do that again. One, two, three, four, and then a five. One, two, three, four, five, and then six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And then 32 blocks going that way from right here. And again, from this block right here down to this one should be 32 blocks. And it should overhang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from this block right here. All right, back up in here, we're going to go 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 3, 1, 2, 3. And then two sets of four, one, two, three, four, and to the inside here, one, two, three, and four. And then go ahead and two, three, four, five, fill this in solid. And one block right here in the middle. Back to your holding block and go back 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Go back to your red and it should be one, two, three to touch right here. And you're gonna have seven total. So there's three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, we're going to grab some uh, block of gold, and we're going to go out by one, skip one, put one, and this is where your propellers are going to go. And if you build any of my other ships, they're really, really simple. You're just going to make an X with a piece coming out the back. Just like that. Go back to your red on the third block. I'm going to come out one on each side. <laughs> come on jag <laughs> just like that and go ahead and get rid of the pink blocks make sure you do the same thing down the other side to finish it out all right layer number four guys right behind these three blocks we're going to come out by one and i'm going to grab my nether brick stairs you can use cobblestone stairs it'll look just as good we're going to go three going this way we're going to connect to the front of that and make it turn and then go back three more so you should have three and three 
and it should turn right here and that's my first torpedo tube again making customizations after this is all done you can move them down a little bit whatever i'm going to go back to our red and go one two three and we're going to go five one two three four five and then seven one two three four five six seven and then ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then another seven one two three four five six seven and then out and back 28 blocks from this one right here again from this block down to this block should be 28 blocks and it should be one short of this one all right go back to your red and we're going to go four one two three four two sets of five one two three four five one two three four five and then a three one two three and then we're going to go 16 cobblestone wall pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And 16. Should be two red blocks short of the back of this one here. And it should connect in just like that. All right, back here. We're going to go in by 2, 1, 2. And then we're going to put two more blocks behind that. And then seven blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So again, the other side should connect in just like that. 1, 2, 3 and it should finish out like this. And then the last thing we need to do when these two connect in right here is take this across, one, two, three, four, five, and then make that three wide going back five. So one, two, three, four, five, just like this. And you should have three blocks exposed at the end. All right, layer number five, we're gonna leave this red block right here and we're gonna go right behind that three blocks, one, two, three. And then we're gonna go out by four, one, two three four and then a five one two three four five and then an eight one two three four five six seven eight and then seven one two three four five six seven and then eleven one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then out and back 32 blocks from right here and again from that block and reference point should be two blocks shy of that one overhanging down to right here, two blocks overhanging. Should be 32 and there should be two blocks on the layer underneath. All right, back to your red and to the inside. We're gonna go five, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go to the back side, cover up by one, two, three, and then cover up one and go seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then again, go in by one and go back seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and fill this in right here. And right here, we're just gonna double this up and then go out the middle, one, two, oops, and then go out the middle, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Should, should, should overhang by one. Let's check that. All right, and <laughs> I forgot three blocks down here, one, two, three on the layer underneath. So it should be three high, and then you should have two blocks back and then your six block, one, two, three, four, five, six. I was wondering why that looked so shallow right there. But anyways, do the same thing going down the other side. I'll show you another look when I get finished. All right, again, so the other side should connect in just like that and stop the video where you need to just to make sure you can count the blocks, make sure everything lines up okay for you. And again, that was the first kind of complicated layer that we've had on this uh, design so far wasn't too bad but I just want you guys to have some reference points again stop the video where you need to okay we are back to the front layer number six we're gonna leave this red block we're gonna go right behind that one two three and four and then we're gonna go out and back by one we're gonna grab our cobblestone or another brick whatever you're using and go back three one two <laughs> two three we're gonna turn it and then just make two right here so that it fills in that little gap right here and then put two more red blocks, one, two. All right, then we're gonna go up by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. All right, and then out and back 38 blocks from right here. Again, from this block, should overhang three. Is it three? Yeah, one, two, three, and here. Is 38 blocks again should overhang by three. I go back to your red and we're going to the inside by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be even with this block right here, just for a reference point, and then go four, one, two, three, four, and then eight, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't worry about the gaps in the back. We'll, we'll uh, fill that in here in just a second. And then four, one, two, three, four. Should draw even right here. Fill this in, one, two, three, four, and then one, two. All right, so right here with the stop, we had four blocks. We're gonna go in four more blocks. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna go five and go out by one. Oops, go out by one and make this five wide. Three, four, five. So the other four blocks coming down the other side should connect in right here. And then out more, uh, four more blocks here. And then four to the inside. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna cover those up. Run that up. Again, to match the other side, you'll bring it down. That's where it'll connect in. Out the back right here. We're gonna go out the middle, one, two, three, and four. And then this is gonna be 11 wide, so we're gonna have five on each side. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. So again, should have five, five, and one in the middle makes 10. Make that three wide. And then add two blocks on the front on each side here and here. And then five blocks right down the middle. Here's one and two on each side. So again, it should look just like this. All right, layer number seven, guys. This is the last one underwater, right behind this red block and out. We're gonna go back by two. And then we're gonna go four, one, two, three, four. And then another set of four, but we're gonna connect up right here on the front of that one and go two, three, four. And then we're gonna go seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then 10, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Did I say seven and then ten? <laughs> I got confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, and then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to go out by eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then out and back 43 blocks from right here. And again, from this block, overhangs by one from the layer underneath. Two right here is 43 and it should overhang by four blocks. Grab your red, back to the inside, go nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Of course, anytime it does this, you're just gonna fill in behind, so there's three right there, and then we're gonna do four, one, two, three, four, and then four, one, two, three, four. Again, go back here and fill in these two, and these two and then on the back side of this last four that you just did one two three four you're going to cover up two of them whoops two of them and go back three one two three and then down the center line by four one two three four should overhang by one again right there's your center line and then the other ones will come up the other side there's your three cover up two and go back and it should connect in right here just like that really really easy all right guys, layer number eight, we're switching over to our dark gray wool, and we're gonna go right behind these three blocks here, so you got your white, and then two dark gray. We're gonna go out by two, one, two. And now I've got some buttons on the outside, again, on the detailing portion, I'll fly around the outside of the uh, submarine, and I'll try to point out where I've got some detail pieces, but there's some buttons on the outside of this anyways. So we've got two right here, we're gonna go out by one more, switch back over to your nether brick or your cobblestone, put three pieces, turn, and then put one more, just like this. So it looks just like the one underneath that we put in right here. Switch back over to your gray and put two behind that, one, two. And again, there's some buttons on the outside of these two here, that one, and then these two, just in case I forget. And then we're gonna go out here by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm pretty sure this sits right on top, but just follow along with me back by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 43. So yeah, so far it's sitting right on top. So just trace that. There's your 43. And then your 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then one more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Two sets of four. Three, four. And then when you get here, you're going to go back three. One, two, three, and then one, two. And again, so on the outside of that, that's where it's going to connect into. So you have just a little bit of a cut right there where the, where the rudder attaches to it. Pretty easy. All right, back to the front, layer number nine, right behind this next set of white and two gray. 
We're going to go to the outside again by two, and then two sets of four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So it should set right on top of that. And then five, one, two, three, four, five, and then two more, but we're going to cover these up. One, two, three. All right, and now every other one is an upside down stairs. So we're gonna one, two, three, four, and then go in between one, two, three, and four. And then one more back here makes five. And then put two blocks just to kind of seal that in. Go two blocks on the outside and go back 11, counting those two blocks, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, should set right on top just like that. All right, we're gonna add two more blocks. And then go in front of this, and from this block right here, going back that way, 42 blocks. All right, again, from this block right here, should be setting right on top, the one underneath, 42 blocks. So it should be one block short because the one underneath was 43. All right, back to your gray. We're going to go in by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> She's seven, eight, and nine. Again, one block short. Two sets of seven. So we're just gonna keep falling one block short. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then a three. One, two, three. And then another three. One, two, and three. Should set right on top just like that. Then we're gonna switch over to our regular cobblestone wall. And out of this set, first set of four right here, we're gonna go one, two. Off of this second block here, we're gonna put one. And then off this set of three, we're gonna put one. And then all you gotta do is just bring that straight out, two, three. Bring this out, one, two. And then you can connect in right here. And then this comes out and goes back by one. So it makes that piece right here. I'm not a submarine expert. I don't know what this is. Um, I'm sure somebody does, but that's that little piece back here. All right, do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, layer number 10. We're getting there, almost done. I'm going to go right behind this set of block right here. So you got one white and one gray. You're going to go three right behind that to the outside. One, two, three, covering up the two underneath. And then seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to come out by one. And that's going to be 12, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then on the outside of that, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So it looks just like this. All right, and then we're going to alternate again with the upside down stairs back to the dark gray. Now underneath, so you don't see this here, if you want to put another block of uh, dark gray you can or black, that'll just kind of shadow that out. Um, either one, either dark uh, gray or the black looks good. And there's five sets of those. There's two, three, four, five. And then after the fifth one, there's two blocks right here. And then out by one. And then it's a total of 41 blocks going back that way. And then we're going to carve out every other one for the upside down stairs. So again, from this block here, going back that way, 42 or 41 blocks. Again, so from right here, we're just double checking. To right there should be 41 and it should be one block over and then i'm not going to do every one guys if this if you just take me too long but you're going to start right here on the third block right there and you're going to cut out every every other one and i'll just speed this up and you should end up with two blocks here at the end and then put your upside down stairs in there go back to your light gray and then again behind here 14, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Again, this gets cut out every other one starting here. So again, you'll have two right there. And then the start of the next one, which is seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that one gets cut out here. And then every other one, leaving these two. And then you've got back to just regular solid, no stairs, four pieces, and then four more pieces, and then a three. One, two, three. One in the middle, kind of makes like an H pattern, like this. And then two sticking out the back, one, two. And I believe on mine, I've got a piece of trap door here that go, that you can use to go down the inside. We'll double check that at the end. Well, let's go check right now. No, I'm not sure what the fuck it is. <laughs> I've got a gap there. I mean, it probably gets covered up on the next layer. <laughs> just don't worry about it for right now. If there is a hole there, just, just cover it up. But anyways, go ahead and do the same thing going down the other side. 
All right, before we go up to the next layer, guys, we're going to put in a little deck piece right here, and it's starting on this second gray block right here, so where you got your first upside down stairs and then this gray block, and then run to this gray block right here. You can go straight across. We're going to cover that up anyways, and, uh, and then we've got one more block here to the outside, so one, two, three on the third block, go out by one, go out by one. Again, if you want to connect that, go ahead, and then same thing here, go out one block, and then go straight across so it should be right behind that upside down stair piece really simple I'm using spruce planks you can use whatever uh, wood variant that you want next layer I think we're on 11 uh, right behind the white two gray we're gonna go out by two one two and then out by 11 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then out by six one two three four five six we got two upside down stair pieces that go into right here so on the third and the fifth block go back to your gray Cover up the sixth block right here and go back by 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Should stop right here. Going to go out by 1 and back 12 again. So there's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Should stop right here. All right, slight adjustment, guys. Uh, right here where we've got these, take this block off and put one behind here. And then from here back should be 12 blocks from there to here. So we're going to add one more block behind that here and then get rid of that one. And then from here back to here should be 12 blocks. So we have one more block should stop right there. Not exactly sure why I couldn't get that out of all the, out of everything I've done so far. That's where I, that's where I got confused. <laughs> all right. Anyways, we're going to go put one block right here and we're going to go back 39 blocks on top. So from right here, going back, 39. So again, from right here, you can put another block, another gray block right behind that one here. This is where the uh, the rails are going to go on the top, and I've actually forgot this block on mine. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put it in right now. So anyways, from right here on the outside of that down to here should be 39 blocks, one block short of the layer underneath. All right, and then we're just going to move in. And we're going to do the same thing we've been doing, but we're going to have a block on the inside, and I'm going to call out the blocks that you see on the face. So there's actually 14, but counting that one is 15. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Back to the inside, you'll see 6, but there's actually 7. So there's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then there's 3, but there's only 2 showing. So right there's 3. And then you got 2 sets of 4, but they're actually 5 hiding behind here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully that didn't confuse you. <laughs> and then go across here. And then the other one's gonna come up this way by five. I must, uh, yeah, I forgot the layer underneath. <laughs> That's all right. And then down the middle, we've got one block right here. We've got a cobblestone wall piece back to our dark gray. And we, yep, we cover that hole up with two pieces. So that, that hole is completely irrelevant. I don't know why it was there. <laughs> all right, do the same thing going down the other side. All right, guys, another small slight adjustment here. <laughs> I went to put the next wooden deck piece in, and uh, and I'm one block over or under here. Where that little cutout is that I told you to put in, you should have a block right here and a block right here, and then you can get rid of this one and this one. So again, from the outside, this sets right on top of that upside down stairs. Same thing on the other side. Again, so you can look at it. Small adjustment. I don't know why that was confusing me. But um, there should be a total of 13 blocks from here after this six. So you got one to there is or seven. And then on the outside of this one here going back should be 13. And then from here going back to here should be 12. All right, so just go in the corner with your deck and cover this up right to this corner here. We're going to have a slab that goes on top of that, a slab that goes on top of that. Same thing here with your spruce planks. So that fills in just like this, and then double that up to the inside, down to the slab, and over here. All right, and then I'm using moss stone in my texture pack. Uh, you can use a probably a light stained clay here would work good, just to the inside of the slabs. Oops, put in <laughs> Jesus, put in two pieces just like that, and then put a set of planks in between here. All right, that's going to go back 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Should actually be even with this one here. Same thing, draw this back even. And you can do one more 
because on top I'm using the nether brick slabs to cover that up so it doesn't matter exactly what you put in here all right stop that one block short and double up the last two so it should look just like this all right now let's go back up here to the front uh, layer number 12 I believe this is and we're gonna go right here behind this white and this gray we're gonna go out by three one two three and then back by four one two three four and then we've got four stair pieces here one two three four and these are regular ones they're not upside down and then we can go back to our slabs and cover up on that one two three four and we're gonna do that three more times but we're gonna go back by one slab each time so there's two three and four so we're just dropping back one each time all right back to your dark gray and one two three and four and then five more pieces one two three four five so it should be a total of nine we're going to cover up those five one two three four five and then go one more and then one more here and that'll cover in right here where your planks stop all right same thing on the other side i'll go ahead and build it with you so on the outside go back three one two three and then four one two three four and then your stair pieces one two three four and then slabs by four drop back three more times using your slabs so it should whoops so it should look just like this from the top batman <laughs> back to your dark gray wall and run this down to here double that up take this back and it should stop right there four blocks exposed all right back to the inside with your moss here again three pieces take out the middle one go back to your uh, planks run this down the middle until it touches this and actually I think that's only 12 pieces we need from here to right there so actually take that one out and put in a piece of your moss and then or your light gray stained whatever and then outline this on the outside just like that so that should cover all that up all right back to the front back to your gray and right here we're going to go back three blocks one two three so on the outside here by two and then out by 18 one two three 18 so it should be one block short and then we're going to go right here to the outside same thing on the other side here one two and then 18 should cover that up stop here one block to the outside and then across the front this gets filled in here 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 and here so you've got one two three four five six blocks behind that before uh, your next run of moss and that should be 13 pieces is what I have there all right we're just gonna go ahead and double all that up oops I am using light gray here not moss okay light gray <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, what you know whatever you want to use actually I think I'm gonna stick with that because that's what I have right now I'm gonna use my moss stone just because that's what I've been building with this and I'm gonna double this up on the outside the middle doesn't matter I'm gonna cover that up uh, with the slabs just like that that should be 16 I just double checked my other one back to here there's 13 14 15 16 go ahead and finish that out fill in the holes and then finish the slabs down to here all right we're going to double up the next three and then run this down one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten covering that up just like that all right cool and that finishes off the front the only thing that's left is uh just wrapping the outside with your bars and again we'll look at that in the details section all right let's go back here we're going to put in the main deck and uh, and then we can put in the uh the conning tower and finish up the guns and all that all right guys so where we left off right here in the middle we're going to grab our slabs and we're going to put one two on each side so again one two on each side and then a plank and a plank and then go ahead and fill that across just like that and then fill in the rest in between all the gray all the way to the back with your planks all right so it should look just like that there's your main deck filled in all right on to the conning tower all right guys sticking with your dark gray we're going to build the front part of the hangar three blocks wide across here one two three and then we're going to build that up and one here 
and one out the front put a button on the end this is your hangar bay door you can make that a little bit bigger if you want uh, again make adjustments after the build all right we're gonna go right behind that one on each side build that up and across here and then from this corner block going back on this side on the uh, port side we're gonna go 18 so there's two and 18 and we're gonna make that three high and connect that into the other end all right so it looks just like that this gets doubled up behind here all right moving back we're gonna go in by two and build that up three and this uh, this whole conning section is all three high so we're gonna go out here by three and build that up and then back in by four and then out by four and then in by one and then double that up and make that three wide all right spin around go out by one and make it four in by five two three four five and then a little L pattern just like that and then in by three and then out by four and then back to the front should be 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then this is going to get filled in behind that and then build that up all right and then right here we've got two more pieces that stick out and then the rest is just cobblestone wall pieces trimming that out here to make the uh the door hinge for the uh for the hangar bay so basically that would be open if you want to take this off later and swing this in the open position where you can see the planes on the inside uh there's there's maybe enough room i don't think we need this right here do we yeah we do need that right there yeah go ahead and fill that in so the hangar bay is right here three wide a little tight in this scale but it it, it works <laughs> we've got two buttons on the outside of that and then down through here we've got some more pipe work so right here in this first corner we've got two pieces run that up and then we've got six pieces that go in here and then go ahead and fill all this in too high and on the other side oh we got a door right here all right now on the other side inside these gaps here double that up and double this up and that is the first three layers of your conning tower all right back with your dark gray right here in the front we're going to put three blocks across here and then we're going to go to this side one two three four so it's just offset just by one on that side going to go back here by one so you got a two block gap and then go back 18 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so it should cover up that area right here all right so we should have three blocks exposed and then go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 should have three blocks exposed here going back this way on this first block to the inside put two more so it covers that up and then we're going to go out by three so we're starting that we're going to outline the bottom part uh the bottom portion so we're going to go in th by four two three four and then back out one two three four all right we'll have one block here in that gap and then go across here and overhang by one so again it looks like that all right we're going to move this out by one and overhang that the four pieces five pieces and then we're going to go in by three one two three and then out by four one two three and four so you should have two on this side one on that side and you're going to have uh, a ladder going up right here don't worry about these little gaps right here we're going to cover that up with the uh with your planks here in just a minute all right going forward past these four you're going to go in by two one two i'm going to come back out by three one two three all right this pipe section right here is going to come up and go through two three and four just like that back to your gray this is going to come out by one two three and four back in by three double that up and go four two three four should stop right here where these two are and go to the inside by two and that should connect in right here and then fill everything in for your main deck running up to this pipe piece right here and out the back and around here and it should look just like that again stop the video where you need to I'm just gonna kind of fly around it all 
All right, moving up. All right, back here at the front. Again, there's the front of the, uh, the submarine port side. Uh, right here where these three blocks are, fourth block, and leave this open, and then put three blocks, one, two, three. So it looks just like this, and then double that up. And then you're gonna come up by one, double that up, put four blocks, and then go to white, and you're gonna put in six blocks, and this is where your banner's gonna go. Uh, I tried doing six blocks like that and then putting a red uh, a dot in the middle so it looks like a circle, and I thought it was just a little too beefy, uh, and that's where I come up with, with the banner idea, and I just take a red banner and some red dye and put a dot in the middle. Uh, you guys can easily figure that part out. We're gonna go three more blocks, just like that, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, and then double that up. All right, we're gonna turn this corner right here. We're gonna double this up and then go one, two, three, double that, and then put one block in the corner so it looks just like this. And then this little section here is gonna turn into nine blocks. So three, 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 and then build it up. So it looks like this. And then this gets built up to here. All right, behind this white piece here is three. And then on the opposite side, one, two, three, just like that. And fill this in by three. I right, so you should have four here, and then three whites, and then another set of gray. And if you want to fill this in, you can. All right, so we got that filled in, and then finish out with your piping. It goes up right here, so it looks just like that. And then we've got another ladder piece that goes right here. All right, back around the other side, dark gray. Again, there's your front for a reference point. Starting off this piece right here, we're going to build this up one more, and overhang by one to right there. All right, in by two, out by three, and we're just outlining. Again, right here was your ladder, so we're gonna come out by two, and this will take you up to that, uh, that single mount gun. All right, we're gonna add one more block here and then go to the inside right here. Skip one and put one so that pipe can come up right through here. I guess it's a pipe, I'm not really sure. And then go back to the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, across the front here. And then right here, you got two more pieces. And then on the outside, I've got upside down stair pieces that cover up here. And then wrap around the front. And then cut into here. So it looks just like that. All right, continuing up again from this corner, facing forward. I'm gonna go up one more and go six, two, three, four, five, six. So there should be three blocks left over. I'm gonna go the inside by two, go out here by one. Now we're gonna switch over to some black wool on the outside of here and go one, two, three, four. And actually I think underneath I went black here and on mine for some reason it looks kind of funky. That way when you put your black uh, banners up it blends in better and uh, you could probably do the same thing over here to these. And that would start here just like that. And again if you don't like that you can change that out once you put your banners on if you don't like it. You can go back to your dark gray um, like so just a an afterthought and then go one two three and then one two and that covers up that and we've got one more block right here all right and then we're just going to go ahead and right on top of it we're going to build everything up by one and then here and then take your upside down stairs and start wrapping it around the top make sure it turns and then this goes in here and then I've got one more solid block right in here so that this can connect in just like that. This block here is missing so I can turn that upside down here, make the turn, and back to the front. And then this pipe goes up right here. I've got another little piece of pipe trim that goes here on the outside. Again, we'll finish that up in the, uh, the last part. And then let's go ahead and make this solid across here. All right, down the center line of these three right here, we're gonna put one, skip one, put one, skip one, put one, two, three, and four. And then that gets built up one a piece here. Skip one, this gets built up by two. And then your cobblestone wall piece goes here, up and back by two, and then up by one. And then I switch over to my mossy, and that connects in here. And those go up by four, one, two, three, four. Same thing here, by four. And then there's one piece of fencing on the top, and I use uh, my nether brick, and I put one on the front, two in the middle, and four in the back. And that gives you your, your periscope and a couple of your other things on the top. And then there's two pieces that go 
right here on top of that. And again, we'll look at that at the end. Go back to your nether brick and we're gonna go right on top with your stairs. And cover this up around the front and then down back down the side. So it looks just like that. And that is pretty much it for the conning tower and, uh, and the entire sub. The rest is just laying out for the guns. All right, first triple mount gun is gonna go right here. There is a ladder that goes up here on the third block right here. So you're gonna go straight in, skip one and go one, two, three, and then build that up by one, two. All right, I'm using stone brick stairs here on the outside, uh, one facing back, one facing back, and then the other one facing forward and forward. And then back by one here, and back by one here. And then I'm using Acacia Fence in my texture pack. You can use whatever fence that you want. And to make things a little bit easier, I'm just gonna put three blocks across here just like this. Grab your fence and make it go just like that. And there is your first triple mount gun. All right, we've got another one back here. Grab your cobblestone wall and off these three blocks right here that come out, we're gonna skip one and go one, two, three, build up two, and then same design. One on each side going back, one on each side going forward, one back here like that, that, and then your three pieces coming out the front here. Really simple. All right, the next one to these four blocks here, skip one, put one, one, two, three, double up twice. Grab your stairs again, one going back, one going back. Uh, here and there and then forward forward here and here and then your three guns going that way and then we've got the single stack that goes right here so one two up and then two here again this is an, uh, another adjustment and then right out the front go straight here two three just like that and uh, I just added a little bit more just because I forgot on, on that one over here. And then we're gonna have the side mount pieces just to the side of here and here. So it looks just like that. And those are all your triple mount and single mount guns. And then we've got the main 43 or uh, 14 CM40 back here. All right, because I haven't built the one over there yet, we're gonna go over this one here. And it's really, really simple. And uh, we're just gonna go from the middle of this one here to here. There should be an eight block gap. On the ninth block, you're gonna put two cobblestone wall pieces and then two cobblestone on top. And then switch over to the mossy and put four pieces out from that and uh, put some uh, trap doors on the outside of this. And that pretty much finishes off the deck uh, and all the guns. The rest is just the trim. We're gonna fly around and I'm gonna show you a few little detail pieces. Uh, you can do whatever you want to trim it out and make it look better or make it look worse. Back here, I put two more pieces of cobblestone wall piece. Skip two, put another one, and this is where your um, your rigging is going to go. And it just goes up, I think, by three, four on, it, uh, on each one. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to white so that you can see it. And we'll count it out, and it should. All right, there we go. That way we can get the rigging down. So put in the white blocks and then go back and fill in with your bars and then kind of adjust it where you need to. Bars are funny ever since they made the, the update several versions back. Uh, they don't, they just, they connect all kind of weird and shit. Uh, but anyway, so we got two here, one, one, two, three high. And it comes to, just so this lines up right. One, two, three, four, five. So on the sixth block is where this goes build your you know your back uh, tower piece here um, or flag or more line piece here go forward four go up one go forward four and back over here by one go forward one two three four go up one or it's five actually one two three four five go up one and then you're gonna go forward from that one two three four five six seven and then you're gonna go left of center line and put one right here and then you're gonna go up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then go up one and go three. Go one left of center line and go one, two, three, four, five. Go up one and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go left of center line and put one right here and go up by one, two, three, four, five. And that should connect in 
right here. And then like I said, and then go back and switch that over to your bars. Uh, everything around here on the outside uh, that I just switched over to white uh, gets switched to bars. And let's go look at the one that I haven't messed up yet. All right, right here at the front. So we got bars wrapping around here, trim work, and it stops there. And then we got iron bars that run along here, connect into that, and then surround the rest of the submarine all the way around the back, around the front. I've got a trap door here that goes down to the inside. Yeah, ignore all that mess. Uh, and then a, a dark gray spot here. Again, just some, some weird deck patching, uh, you know, like there's been some repairs or something like that. Uh, we've got buttons around the outside for trim. Again, stop the video where you want. Ignore the banners. They're obviously they're messed up. Uh, to here, got a railing that goes on the outside of the stair piece. Here's some buttons around the hangar bay, and then buttons down this side, trimming out the top. There's your door. Don't forget that. Uh, anything else up top? Uh, not really. We've got a crane here for the planes, and this is really easy. I should have switched this over. There we go. So starting right here, where that little uh, that step up goes, we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine high with a little piece on top, and then you're just gonna use cobblestone wall pieces going up one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and they overlap by two. Really, really simple here, guys. Simple, simple design. Uh, again, just to kind of trim things out. Uh, and then we've got the plane. The plane, the plane, the plane is right here. And I'll show you where that mounts again here in a minute. This is stupidly simple. Uh, four green blocks, well, three green blocks, one in the middle. Same thing on the other side, so it ends up being three wide. Uh, I've got solid blocks here in the middle. Or you know, slabs, but they're doubled up. Uh, no, they're not take the glass off there we go so yeah we got a slab here a stair piece right here going that going this way right here in the middle for the seat so there's three going back and it lines up with these back three we got a red block and then two more green blocks behind that two above that and one here and then go up two blocks here and then go underneath with two slabs on the bottom piece of iron block on the front, some fence for the propellers. Uh, the wings have been noted that they're a little bit short. If you want to go out like two more and cover that up, something like that might look all right and make it just a little bit, a little bit bigger scale wise. Again, I just, it was, it was a last minute thing. Uh, you can line it up on the front or you can put it in the water floating in the water will look cool or lift it up with the crane and I put it right here going right after these three blocks that we put in the solid blocks I set it in here one two three and I actually have it uh, kind of mounted uh, with with two more slabs on the red and the green block uh, right in the middle of those two really really easy and I think that is it guys uh, anything in post edit that I might have forgotten um, I'll post pictures at the end or any kind of corrections will be in the uh, description. Uh, so make sure you check that. Kind of I'm looking around because sometimes I forget shit. But anyways, that's it, guys. Like always, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.